This video was sponsored by AxoKid. 55-year-old female with end-stage renal disease presents for weakness and a loss of consciousness earlier in the day. She's confused and hypotensive on arrival at the hospital. You find out that she had missed the last two sessions of hemodialysis based on this new historical finding and the appearance of her EKG. You decide to empirically treat her with intravenous calcium, but there's minimal response to her overall hemodynamic and clinical status. You consider other medical treatment options and make arrangements for the patient to receive urgent hemodialysis. As you are waiting for the laboratory studies to return and for the pharmacy to prepare the medications you had ordered for the patient, her blood pressure decreases further. She becomes profoundly bradycardic and loses consciousness again. Of the following choices listed, what is the next best step in management? Atropine, adenosine, transvenous pacing, cardioversion, insulin, and dextrose. The correct answer is atropine. This patient presents with unstable bradycardia in the setting of hyperkalemia. Intravenous calcium was given to help stabilize the cardiac membrane. In addition to calcium, other medical treatment options should be considered, such as insulin, furosemide, and caexalate, along with a definitive treatment of the patient's hyperkalemia with hemodialysis. In this case, however, the patient becomes acutely ill and hypotensive. According to the most recent ACLS guidelines, patients with symptomatic bradycardia should be treated first with atropine. This dose of atropine can be repeated every 3-5 to five minutes for a maximum of 3 mg. Other treatment options for this patient include the use of intravenous fluids, vasopressors such as dopamine and epinephrine, and the consideration of transcutaneous pacing if these fail. Adenosine is a medication recommended for the use of tachycardia, not bradycardia. Transvenous pacing is typically used for patients with refractory bradycardia despite pharmacologic therapy with atropine or other medications such as dopamine or epinephrine. There is no role for cardioversion in this patient with unstable bradycardia. Insulin and dextrose is a treatment for hyperkalemia, but is not the next best step in a patient who is acutely decompensating. That's because insulin causes a shift of potassium intracellularly, a process that can take up to an hour to be most effective. This video was sponsored by AxoKid a web application powered by artificial intelligence made for medical and healthcare students. When you sign up for AxoKit, you'll get access to more than 30,000 videos covering various topics in medicine, pharmacology, and other healthcare-related sciences. You can follow along with videos and learn at your own pace with pre-formatted study notes and then test what you've already learned with access to a bank of more than 40,000 healthcare-related questions. And just when you thought you've learned everything, level up your knowledge base with AxoKit's mind maps to explore the vast network of related concepts to topics that you've already studied. But if self-guided study is not your thing, let AxoKit be your AI-generated study coach. Just give AxoKit a medical prompt of a topic and it will intelligently generate questions and quizzes based on courses and topics that you've previously or are currently learning. Head over to axokit.com to sign up or learn more.